Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Witch of the Board Tour with your lap secrets tip of the day. Today, I'm going to show you three ways that you can add music to your social network on the lab secret solution. The ways that you want to do it are commensurate with the way the world works today. In the last couple of years, the music industry has changed so much. Now, members of your site can get music just about anywhere for free online. The reason is that the Companies like GrooveShark and Playlist.com have made it possible to just go ahead, grab or search for whatever music you want, and create a playlist. Since that's the case, there's less reason today that you have to provide an upload center for people to take and put their commercial CDs and load the songs up. It's just not necessary. It's double work. All the music in the world is already available. I mean, I can look for Elvis Presley and go ahead and find any song I want add it to my soundtrack, or I should say my playlist, and then go ahead and take the playlist and put it on the site. With such ease of use, why should they bother digging out the old dusty CD, encoding it, and uploading it? Now, there is one instance where you do want to have people, uh, or give the people on your site, the ability to upload music files. And that is, let's say, if you have some private documents, or you have some private uh, conversations, or you even have some custom stuff that's not commercially available in audio format, that's a great uh, time to go ahead and upload it in a way that is allowing for sharing and use. So I'm going to show you both of those ways real quick. When we go over to our demo site, at the Lab Secret Solution demo, we're going to go ahead and first of all show you what we've set up and then show you how we did it. So if I go over here, I went ahead and set up in our community section a couple new things. I'm going to go over here to community and you'll notice that what I've done is I've set up a sub menu for two things. One is for a playlist and one is for what I'm calling site music. Now, playlist is the first choice I just mentioned, where if we want to create a library of cool tunes that represent fun things for people uh, to listen to while they're on our site, we can go ahead and do that. Now, in this version, I just have one playlist, but there's nothing that stops me from creating multiple playlists. Maybe I want to have, you know, different genres of music. So I simply create the playlist, let's say over at playlist.com, like I did here, and then I can go ahead and look at my playlist. Now here's, I'm going to show you at this point how I did it. Once I've got my playlist finished and I, I'm ready to use it, you'll notice at the bottom that it says pop out player. So what I did is I clicked on pop out player and you'll notice this is cool. There's the URL that I need, right? That's exactly what I want to use. Also, if I'm going to embed it, I can go click on share this playlist. When I do that, I go ahead and turn off auto start because I don't want to scare people with the music starting. I'm going to select a nice gray color choice, and I can get the embed code. Now here, the embed code, I just click to copy, and I've got it. Now, when I go back over to my site, what I did is I went under Pages, and I first started out by creating a page to hold this playlist. Now, if I want multiple playlists, I can either put them all on one page, or I can create additional pages, you know, unique pages to hold each of them. So here I just have one called playlist. And if I open it by clicking on edit, I went ahead and I made sure that I was using the HTML editor on the right, not the visual editor, which wouldn't work. I need to use the HTML editor. And I simply pasted it in here. I went ahead and did one thing. I turned off comments and trackbacks because you really don't need anybody to comment or have a discussion about this page. And then I clicked update. In this case, the page was saved, and you'll notice it's got a, a, a URL here called Playlist. If I want, I can go ahead and actually view the page and make sure that it looks exactly the way I want it before I go ahead and take any further steps. Once I see this is the way I want it, and of course, you know, we can add the columns and the headers and all the other things. Once I know it's the way I want it, now I want to add it to my menu. So I go over to uh, my main appearance tab under Menus. That's where all the navigation menus are managed. And what I did is, remember, I want to create that really cool submenu tab system where if I'm in the community area of any of my social network stuff, I have these submenu tabs. And the way I did that was I created a custom menu over here called Community. The Community tab is something in addition to the normal logged in and logged out navigation menus. And it's something that we used in other locations. Remember over here on our pullout tab, we've also got the community uh, links as well. So it's very convenient. When I create the community menu, what I did is I, I scrolled down and I see here there's a new page uh, that was created called Playlist. All I did was click on the check mark, 
and say add to menu. And when I did, it was added right here. And of course, there I can go ahead and drag the position and move it in any place I wanted. In my case, I said, you know, let's keep it alphabetical. So I put it right between PH and S. And if I want to change anything about it, I can always just click to open it and I can change the title or the attribute. And remember, the attribute is what happens when you roll your mouse button over the link. So we could say great tunes. When I'm ready and I think I've got it the way I want it, I click on save. So if I go back over to the page where it's located, we can see here, uh, I'm gonna refresh it. We can see here what the attribute will look like. So let me click refresh. And now when I go ahead and roll my mouse over, great tunes. Okay, and that of course takes you directly to that page. Now, if a member themselves wants to use a playlist, the trick I just showed you was when they create their own playlist at playlist.com, they'll go back over here and they'll just grab that URL. So let's do it again. Remember when they go to their playlist at the bottom, you can show them, click on pop out player, grab that URL, and then simply go to their profile page. This would be them doing it. And they get to their profile by clicking on their own name and here they just go ahead and paste it right in now they can add some additional things for example like saying with a dash or a separation my favorite playlist they post an update and this will give a great link directly to their playlist they can listen to the tunes because this is running in a new window all day long while they're browsing your site they can also right click and uh, open it up in a new window if they want, etc. So let's go ahead now and go to step two. In the event that you have a situation where you want to actually add private documents as well as private music, you can use the group document sharing feature. And that's available as part of your Lab Secret Solution bundle. If you go over here, the first step is to go under plugins because what we want to do is actually turn this on. Now we've already done this in the demo and turned it on. And if we click on plugins active, we'll see the active uh, plugins here. And you'll see that one of them is called BP group documents. Now, originally that will be located in your inactive folder. When we deliver the lab secret solution, we have all these great options of plugins that you could choose from, but we don't already turn most of them on because we want you to experience them yourself. And the only way that you can do that is by knowing which things are in use at which time. So we start you out with a nice core selection and then the rest of them are available right here in your inactive tab. So when you want to turn something on, you simply would go along, explore the options in the descriptions. And when you want to turn something on, you just say uh, activate like here, the group calendar. And the next thing you would know, it would be in your active category, where when you click on that, you can see which ones are now live. So you've always got a reserve of all these amazing options there. You just have to decide whether you want to turn them on. Once you've got your site up and running, you're going to probably want to go ahead and delete all the inactive ones because there is a storage requirement to keep carrying even the inactive plugins. So we don't want to use any extra uh, storage or bandwidth or uh, memory on things that are not going to be used by your site. So right now I've got, for example, the BP group documents activated. Now let's go ahead and set it up. One of the things we do here is go under the buddy press menu, group documents. And what we're going to do is add a new type of file format, which I've already done here to the list. I want to add MP3 and maybe I want to have WAV files and M4V as well. So I've gone ahead and simply typed in a comma at the end of the last item and typed MP3, WAV, M4V. If there's another file format you use like uh, Og Vorbis, you can do that as well. Anything you want, this is just a filter to ensure that people are only allowed to upload those file formats. You don't need the period in front of it either, just the full three letters. Next, you can say how many uh, items per page uh, before it paginates. And lastly, you can decide things like who is allowed to upload. In this case, this is a public group, so we want to say members and moderators. And we can use categories, in this case, not necessary. Display icons we like, because that's going to show exactly that it's a music file rather than a PDF or something. And you have the option of displaying the file size, which we don't care about. We click on Save Settings and then we're done. Now, let's go over here. We need a place for these actual documents to be uploaded. So what we need to do is go to the group section, 
where we have all of our groups. Now in this case, I've set something up in advance and it's a new group called Site Music. I will show you what it looks like and then show you how I made it. So Site Music over here is basically the place where all members can come and add their uh, musical content. And we also added a cool little icon here to make it look more like something that was related to music. When they actually want to see these documents, they're located here under the Documents tag. Now, using the editor file, we can change this from something that says Documents to something that says Music. But remember, we're using this for all documents. So it's actually, for example, allowed that people can upload PDFs and Word files, etc. Depending on your use, you can specifically make this for only music, and we can change the label to Music. But if you want it for all documents, maybe we'll change the title to something like documents and music. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, what we have here is a situation where people are allowed to upload their music. And what happens with that is that once they've uploaded it, and I'll show you in a second, we've got this Yahoo Media Player that automatically shows up and it's got a playlist of any of the tunes that are available. So somebody can go ahead and immediately start playing the tunes as if it was any other kind of music player. But in this case, these are specifically related to either themselves or to the group where these were located and they're not commercially available. All right, let me show you, for example, if somebody wants to upload a new document, when they click on the button, uh, they'll just choose a file. In this case, I've got a music folder. Let's say I want to upload this Katy Perry song. I can say, you know, Katy Perry, fireworks, my song, etc. Click Submit, and after a couple seconds or a minute, depending on the file size, it'll be uploaded to the site, and it will be available as a music file for playing inside of the media player. Now, other than that, there's a couple other options. First of all, we have to install the music player itself. So let's go ahead and do that now. And the way I did that was I went back over to the admin dashboard, and once there, I went under the appearance menu again, and what we're going to do is grab the Yahoo Media Player and we're going to add it in to the footer of our site. The way we get to that is we go under Appearance, Editor, and now we know we're using the lab theme. So over here where it says Select Theme to Edit, if I had other themes I could choose them, but I'm using the lab theme. What we want to do is go to the file that's called Footer. Now, let me explain also, the Yahoo Media Player is available at mediaplayer.yahoo.com. And it's a simple little file that allows you to have an embedded, really cool pull-out tray that contains access to any audio files that show up on that page. So all you need to do is go to the section B where it says Get Code, and you copy it. Let's try to select it, copy it. Now, when we back over here to our appearance, editor, lab theme, footer, will scroll down to the very bottom. And just at the very bottom where the ending tag is for body, but before the closing tag for HTML, we went ahead and pasted in the script that we just copied for the Yahoo Media Player. We then clicked on update file. And when we did, what happened is that we now have access under site music to the Yahoo Media Player. Now, when we do this manually, we get to the right destination. As you can see here, we've got a situation where we've got the ability to play the song directly. We can also show the playlist of additional Easy songs if there are any. Easy. But we want to still add a tab to the menu. So let's do that. We want it to show up that when somebody clicks, they'll have a tab just like this called Site Music. So what we did is we went to this page. And if you see here, when I roll over the mouse, I can copy this link location. All our, alternatively, I can go to the top of my browser and I can grab the URL. Let me show you with the text editor here. This is the full URL. All we need is to get the, uh, the part here that says group site music. But if I did that, that's not actually going to be enough. Let's make it even more specific. Let's go to the document section. So I'm going to right click and copy the link location for this documents tab. And let's use that. Now, we don't need the preface of the site or the prefix. We just need this part here. When we take this link, which takes us to this particular page, I'm going to go back over to the admin dashboard. I'm going to go under menus again, appearance menus, and community. Community. 
and I'm going to add this URL. I just paste that in there and I say like I did site music and I can go ahead and add it to the menu. And when I do, I get this tab here. You'll notice there's the same URL. Now I can copy uh, the same pattern as before and put something that says this is all the sites music. That'll add a rollover window or a little uh, tag like that. And I can rearrange it, of course, in any order, but in this case, I'm doing it in the same alphabetical order. Be sure to click Save Menu. And when you do, the end result, of course, is what we have here, that we have a tab called Site Music that takes us right to this page. All right, so the net result of this tutorial, and it's been a long one, there's been a lot of details I went kind of fast, is that we've accomplished three possible options. Step one or option one is that we've got a general playlist or playlist that you create from playlist.com or GrooveShark for your site members to uh, use. T uh, step number two or option number two is we showed you how an individual member can go ahead and add a playlist of their own into their activity stream so that it's always available for them to pop out and play. Step three or option three was we showed you how to create a site-wide group documents upload potential so that people can upload music and then when they go to this page it will automatically open up in a playlist which by the way you know this can pop out too in a separate window which is kind of nice because if they've gone ahead and created a big library of stuff everybody on your site can listen to that even while they're browsing the rest of the pages now those three options give you a lot of choices and will really pretty much cover your nut when it comes to giving music on your site without the overhead and the problems that come from forcing your members to upload all the commercial music in the world to your server. This has been a long tutorial. If you have any questions, no problem. Reach out to us at support at labsecrets.com. This is Spence from Widget Laboratory.